there, it's Annie Lou. How are you? I am in my kitchen. And did you hear? I retired. So, I had these big plans in my head to really super clean my house and put things back where they belong. Maybe get rid of some stuff. That's my hardest problem, is decluttering. But, I will try my best. So, I've always wanted to try a steam cleaner. And this is called Per Steam. P U R Steam, it says World's Best Steamers. So, I'm going to open this baby, see how it works, and decide if whether or not it is the best steamer. Now, I purchased this myself. And I did go online and do a lot of reviews. And the reason I chose this one is because it has a detachable handheld steamer, which I thought would be great for like cleaning windows and my walls. Okay, good packing. It's all recyclable packing. I like that. Pull this out. And here come some things. Now, it is best to read directions than to just plunge into things. So, woo! All right, it has more stuff. Okay, so this is the piece that you would um, clean your floors with. And I know from watching others that this comes off. This comes off, and you use this when you're doing rugs, I believe. But this side is the side you use when you are going to do floors. But I could be wrong. Okay, let's open this up. Boy, they give you everything. There's a measuring cup. You know, you're probably like me, and to me, it's ounces. But it seems like more and more everything is in milliliters. So I have to learn that, or find measuring cups that have that measurement on it. Okay. Ooh, I can get something free. Let's see what it is. A free steam mop pad and shipping and handling is on us and all I have to do is scan a code and send it off. It tells me how to do it because there are some things I still don't know how to do. Now, I don't know if you can see the picture or not, but um, in the middle here, that is the detachable part. I did purchase this on Amazon and um, it was under $70, around that price range. So this certainly does have a lot of stuff in here. Angled nozzle, scrape tool, double brush tool, big brush tool, small brush tool, steamer jet, steamer attachment, and squeezy attachment. Oh my. So it says open water tank cap and fill the tank with 380 milliliters, I guess, also known as 12 ounces, thank you, of water, using the funnel and measuring cup. All right, so what I'm going to do first is put this together using the instructions, and I don't think you need to watch me do that because the instructions are really good. What I want to know is, does it work? So let me put this together. So I have this put together and it was really easy. Things just snapped in place. I can do it. You can do it. I usually have my husband do it, but he doesn't read directions. So I'm doing it. So it stands up on its own, doesn't tip over. And now it says to um, fill this with water. 
So here's the funnel, and the directions say they gave me ounces, 12 ounces of water, which is one and a half cups, just so you know. Load it up. Now, I read the directions, and it said that this will run for 12 minutes. To me, 12 minutes isn't that long, but we're going to try it and see. And you're never supposed to put any cleaning products in here. It's just water. It's just steam. Steam really does disinfect. Okay, using the steam mop. It only takes 20 seconds for the steam mop to preheat, after which it is ready to use. The steam will run continuously until the unit is turned off or the water runs out. A full tank of water will produce approximately 12 minutes of steam. Now, if you run out of water, the machine is really smart. When tank runs out of water, the pump inside will make a sound and vibrate, at which time you need to turn off the steam mop immediately and refill the water tank before using it again. I think what I want to do first is, this feels really grubby. It just does. So I am going to give the front of my oven here a steam. You can even use this as a garment steamer. I am going to try the angled nozzle. Now, so the first thing I need to do is I need to plug this in and in 12 seconds it says it will be all heated up. Now this thing has a really nice long cord. Alright, so it does make a little bit of a noise. I'm not much of a noise person. I'm thinking the water is um Wow. Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay. So can you see me over here? I'm just going to clean this. So to turn things off, there's a nozzle. So I just turned it all the way to zero. Now I will get a cloth. So I have my cloths, and believe it or not, these are diapers. These diapers are really old, and I think that diapers are the best thing that you can clean with. You know what? This had that grimy film on it. I can see it's dirty, and it's nice and smooth. I really like it when you purchase something and it does what it says it's going to do. So this is great. It's amazing what you can see when you're sitting on the floor. I'm going to hit my candle over here. My word, everything just comes right off. You have to make sure that the um, you're holding it downward so that the water is at the bottom of the tank because if you lift it up there's no water over there to go to come out because if you're holding it this way the water is not here so you have to hold it down listen it's squeaky clean can you hear it oh yeah don't you just love it when something works the way it's supposed to oh yeah oh feels lovely all right, I am going to open up this, and this feels really grubby. So here we go. I can see the steam moving things around. Oh, yeah. So let's give this a wipe. It just lifts everything off. As you can see, I use my oven for storage since it's only my husband and I. Very rarely do we use the oven. At 
actually, my husband does the cooking. This is as smooth as smooth can be. Now, did you know that you can use a razor to clean glass? And I can see everything really moving here. And I know that that steam helped a lot. The only thing I can say is I wish there was a an on and off switch instead of that um, dial. Oh, yeah. You know all that stuff that just hides because it's not at eyesight? It comes right off. Okay, I am really, really happy with the way this works. I can't even tell you how nice this feels. So I am going to try this on a different surface. Um, I know I want to do my backsplash walls here because once again when you touch them they're grimy and I have tried to clean them it just doesn't do the trick so I'm thinking the steam is really going to lift off that grime so let me go and get set up to do that okay so the next thing I want to show you is I am going to clean my drawers and um I went and I got my um it's a little sponge thing that you kneel on so you're not kneeling on the floor, which is a tile floor. Us old timers, our legs are like, you know. All right. Let's see. I'm going to pull that out. Yeah. yeah. You have to make sure that that water is at the bottom of the tank. And I can just see everything moving around. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? It's sticky, like, right on that edge. See if I can take care of that. So a lot of it came off, but it still feels a little tacky. It's not 100%, but it feels a lot better. And you know what's nice is that the handle is all nice and shiny like new. And it's not grubby. Okay, the next thing I am going to try it on is the top of this. It's stainless steel. And it feels awful. You know, this thing has attachments to it, but... I'm just finding, just using the steam is pretty good. It might be better if I used one of these other tools. Let me see what kind of tools there are here. Okay, so I have, this tool has a scrub brush on it. Turn this on. So with some elbow grease, the um, spots that I wanted to get off did come off. It feels really good on top. So if there are some spots that didn't come off, it'll come off with a steel wool. That looks good. Now I'd like to do that brush just make a difference. Nice and clean and smooth. Now, once again, on glass, you can use a razor. And that will, oh yeah, pick up stuff too. And now this is nice and moist. So it's doing a very good job of picking. Okay, so I've done what I'm going to do for today. Um, it's a lot of work. It really is. I miss my, my disarray. So far, the Thermo Pro 211 is okay. It's, it's good. It's good. Um, I thought it would do a, a lot more fast. No, not faster. I thought it would take the grime off easier. And it does. It does. But not really, really, really good. But I'm going to use it in different areas. I am looking forward to using it on the windows and in my bathroom on my um, the shower walls. 
So I will do another video and let you know about that. So it cleaned glass really well, both sides of the oven. And um, I liked it on the, um, on the cabinet, so that was good. And that doesn't feel too bad. So, but I want to do some walls also. Um, maybe I'll just get a hit on my wall and see what happens. All right, so my plan is to do some wall washing, and I have a clean microfiber cloth this time. So let's do this. So it is taking stuff off the wall. Um, I guess my walls aren't that dirty. I thought they would be really built up. Um, the baseboards, I always clean those. I don't know why. I can see some spots up here. Let's see. Oh yeah, it took everything off. I think the steam is a big help. So I don't have to use any cleaners, I just use the steam. Okay, this is really it for me, so thank you for joining me. If you have used this product, please comment below and let me know how you like it. And um, next time I see you, I'll be in the bathroom doing the walls. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.